Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And be sure to stick around till the end of the video because I have five more bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you a kind of cool new product that I've noticed and one that's actually relatively popular. So this is my listing actually, and this is a pill case. So just a small little pocket-sized pill case on Etsy. Um, this is specifically mushroom themed because again, for whatever reason, mushrooms seem to be going well. So, Hey, why not combine the two? So the title for this one, by the way, mushroom pillbox, mushroom motif, stained glass style pillbox, vintage style trinket, mushroom pill container. Um, and it is just a really simple, easy thing. I did find this product on print KK and I will go ahead and show you how I created this exact, um, or something very similar product right here. And you can just see um, it's got like the different mock-ups through here too. It'll show you the size there. I have a review page on here, which is always convenient to do. So I've got my customer reviews, consistent star seller. Um, and so it's just something to make customers, you know, more likely to want to purchase from you if they trust you. And then I've got more of a branding card at the end, which includes the logo, a call to action to go ahead and um, leave a review. And it also gives a little 25% off uh, coupon code that they can use if they want to, you know, continue to shop. This is already on sale for 25% off and they do not double coupons. So it's not as though they're going to use this card to get 50% off. So it really won't change the price. Um, for this one, I'm selling it at $8.99. They pay the shipping. And so I'll show you guys how we went ahead and did this. So for starters, I can show you on Print KK. Here I am on Print KK and I just sort of searched for pill boxes and they have two right here. This one says hot. I guess that one is selling a little bit more. Um, I decided to go with the round one, but you can sell both. Um, Print KK offers a lot of cool and unique products that I haven't necessarily seen on Printful or Printify. I do have all three of those platforms integrated with my Etsy shop. And so depending on what I'm selling, um, I have products from Printful, products from Print KK, products from Printify, because they each have sort of their pros and cons products. And so the pill cases, this is the only platform I've seen that sells these. So I've gone ahead and used these. I have gotten a lot of questions lately, by the way, um, about Print KK, because I know it's one of the newer platforms that people aren't as familiar with. Um, and so, so far, I haven't gotten any neg negative reviews. <laughs> All of the reviews I've gotten have been five star. Anything that I have um, gone ahead and purchased as like a test product. I have been happy with the quality of, and despite the long, um, I guess, estimated shipping times, they've actually come relatively quickly. Pretty much I get most of my orders within a week, week and a half. So it's really not that long um, in terms of, of shipping times. So hopefully that answers some of the questions that I know some of you guys had, but so far I have been happy with Print KK and I'm continuing to integrate it into my Etsy shop. So anyways, this is the little small pill box and I can go ahead and click on that and you can see the different mockups there. And if I was to go over here, I can hit start designing. And so here it's just going to give you, this is the area that you're gonna design for. So whenever we're designing a circular thing, it's best to just start off with a square um, blank canvas, and then obviously make the circle in the middle of the square. So I wanted to show you guys another kind of cool technique that I've been recently you know, testing out on Canva. So if I was to go ahead, jump over to Canva real quick, Let's go ahead, start with a blank page. We'll go to custom size on the right-hand side of the page. I do like to start with a square and as many pixels as I can. So let's just go by 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. And this is what I'm gonna go ahead and start with. And one of the things that I've been testing out here was some of the AI features on Canva. So if I was to go up to elements, I can do a search for elements if I know what I like or they've got the AI generator. Now I've been playing with this and sometimes it comes out good and sometimes it really doesn't come out good. And I think some of the styles come out better than others. But the one that I do recommend that has come out very well for me 
is the stained glass style. So I'm on images. So there's images, there's graphics, there's videos, and you know they have different styles. But if I go to the images and I go to styles, it'll show you like the different styles, photography styles, digital art, and then fine art. Down at the very bottom, the very last one says stained glass. The stained glass one has come out really well. And I can be very simple in what I described for this. So if I just put in mushrooms and went and hit generate image, it's going to give me some stained glass versions of mushrooms. Now these are cool because they're pretty unique and they work really well on things like vintage style pillowcases. Um, not necessarily something I would put on a shirt, but certainly something that you could put on, I mean, all sorts of different things. You can make like a um, vintage style, um, like wall art with this. Uh, it's square. So anything that would be sort of more square or round, whether it's a pop socket, a pillow, a tote bag, any of those would work. So it's given me two versions that are more square oriented and another two versions that are more circular. So let's say I went with one of the circular ones. I'll just grab this one here. It's gonna put it here. I can stretch it out. Oops stretch it out across my page and what i've got is a nice circular image that will work really good on my pill case and so you can see with only putting in the word mushrooms it came up with a cool unique design and because it's ai every time you put in that prompt it's going to come up with something different so you could do this right now put in the word mushrooms and yours would come out looking different than mine and every time i do it it comes out looking a little bit different so everybody's got their own unique designs when we use the ai um so i'm you know i'm experimenting with it a little bit more it does have you know flaws in terms of the ai is definitely nowhere near perfect but there is definitely some instances where i find that it's pretty helpful to use it um, and this happens to be one of them. So I can just go ahead and save this. I can go ahead and put um, sort of mushroom stained glass and I can download that. So I can hit save, download, and then just go ahead and download it as is. So it's a PNG and that's gonna download it. By the way here, this one is free to use. It comes with like, I wanna say like 499 or 500 um, credits for the day and every day it refreshes so literally you can play with this 500 times each day so it's essentially free um and so you can play around with this as much as you like um which is really cool i'm gonna go ahead and jump back over to print kk right now and we're gonna go ahead and just upload that so i can go to the left hand side where you see the tab that says upload i can hit upload image that should pull up your downloads and from there you can go ahead and open your mushroom stained glass and so it pulled it up right here. I can hit apply and here we go. So one thing I have noticed though about the AI is that the circles aren't always perfectly circled, <laughs> which is okay because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out to kind of try to get rid of the circle so I can stretch it out. And then there's a little thing right here that says move to center. That's super convenient for the square designs because it's going to automatically center that for me. And I actually want to take a look at my mock up here to see how that looks. And so that looks pretty cool. It's cut off most of the border, except a little bit is still showing on the left-hand side because this is a little bit um, not perfectly centered. So I am trying to cut out that border a little bit. So I'll make it just a smidge bigger, center it again, and then take another look. And now the whole border is out. So that looks cool. And so this would be what I'm looking at on the right-hand side there, that mushroom pill case. And so that looks pretty cool. And this is going to print on metal. And it can just sort of give you the illusion of a cool vintage look. Um, so once you have that the way you want it, you can go ahead, hit save, ignore that. And it's going to go ahead and save that over to your designs. You could then go ahead and click this. It will take you right over to your designs. And then you can go ahead and publish it to your store. Um, and so that's really what I wanted to show you. Another really cool new product that I've found that I'm going ahead and testing out on my Etsy shop. So I'll let you guys know how that works out. Um, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well on your sales. 
If you haven't downloaded the free um, list of evergreen and seasonal niches, I do have a link below this video, totally free. So I know several hundred people have downloaded it already, but if you haven't, it's there. Um, and because you guys were so patient, um, I do have those five bonus niches for you. So as promised, these are your five bonus niches. And so for these niches, I went ahead and went with more of a introvert um, sort of um, antisocial theme. So these are all kind of those funny, sarcastic styles. Um, number one, call me antisocial, but please don't call me. Number two, it's a beautiful day to leave me alone. Number three, I came, I saw, I had anxiety, so I left. Number four, introverts unite separately in your own home. And number five, just pretend I'm not here. That's what I'm doing. And so I hope you guys can come up with some fun ways to do these. Again, these work great as text only designs, which are pretty simple to make. And there's all sorts of different ways that you can go ahead and do that. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative. And we'll see you next time.